<clears throat> so, <sighs> so, what are we talking about? So, Julian, you just yes. finished the drawing. Yes. What was the experience of making the drawing like for you? Like, what came right. up for you, right. or were you a little nervous about? if you would be able to make something right. or what your expectations were. So what, what was yeah. it like for you? Well, to be honest, it was the first time I had like picked up a colored pencil yeah. in, I have no idea, <laughs> ages. Right. Like most people, most people don't stop drawing when right. they're like 11 mm -hmm. in middle school. Right. So yeah, I, I've been like, I was like, well, okay, I'm picking up a colored pencil. It's been a while since <laughs> I've done this. And the last time I sat down to draw, I mean, it's been a little while. So it's kind of like getting on an old bike. You know what I mean? It was kind of like, forget. you know, there's a little bit of uncertainty, obviously. Yeah. But I was excited overall to kind of just like make a little, make something of art. You know yeah. what I mean? And yeah. so yeah, I felt, I felt um, excited to do it. Okay. So you went through a bunch of different stages right. where uh, you had directions of draw a stick person mm -hmm. and then... Um, it's holding something. So what was the first right. thing that you added in there? What is your stick person holding? Uh, a camera. Okay. Yes. <laughs> a v obviously. <laughs> I mean, yes. <laughs> yes, a camera. Okay. So oftentimes that very first thing will reflect what the person uh, is or who they are or, you know, it'll say something about right. them, right? Yeah. And then, do you feel like as you went through the process, step by step, add some clothes, add mm -hmm. something it's standing on, add right. something next to it, um, do you feel like it developed some type of theme? Right. Ah, uh, yeah, you know, I, I, yeah, because the theme is me, like, it, you know, he's like, it's like things that I aspire to be was kind of the theme. Okay. You know what I mean? Like what makes me excited in life? Oh wow! Yeah, it was yeah. was kind of like I mean, it, he's like on the top of a mountain. He's holding what what his creative outlet is. He has mala beads, and he's on a spiritual path. There's the sun and the stars, and that's just kind of like what I. That's just like kind of who I am, you know what I mean? And so that was the theme. The theme was like Julian, yeah. if that makes sense. <laughs> right. And we started off with the most basic right. thing, which is a stick figure. Mm -hmm. I didn't say this stick figure is you. It's true. Yeah, right? it's true. I just yeah. said, you're going to draw a stick figure because, you know, so often people say, that's all I can draw and you're not going to get right. any information from me. Right. So I think there's a lot of information. Oh, yeah, 100%. Here. That is true. Yeah, even though it's just simple, you know, picking up a colored pencil, and drawing, yeah, this is me. Yeah. So yeah, hopefully that um, has a little bit of like insight for you guys that no matter how simple or how complex or whether it's a colored pencil or whether it's you know anything that you're doing, it's always a part of you. You we can't help but we can't help but put our own personality and imprint that on anything that we put our hands absolutely. on. Absolutely, absolutely. I'm sure every film that you make, every yes. every time you it's make a, a film, that it has a piece of you, some autobiographical part. Um, so, yeah, it, mm -hmm. it just you know it goes into the subconscious and it comes out yes. on the paper, which I just think is fascinating. So, you know, one thing that stands out for me is you've mm -hmm. got three stars over. Yes. Uh, over your head and you've got sort of three mountaintops Ooh. there. So there's uh, three is a theme. Mm. Um, is three an important number for you? Mm. Does it um, have any, sometimes it's like about how many siblings you have right. or how many people in your family right. or maybe it's something like something happened three months ago. So I'm wondering, does the number three have any significance for you? Yeah, you know, that's actually interesting because there have been three really important people in my, in my life. Mm -hmm. And so my mom, my dad, and my biological dad mm -hmm. were both really important parts of my life, those three people. And so, yeah, I wouldn't even have made that connection that there's the three stars, the three mountaintops. I mean, I'm like standing on the three mountaintops, so it's kind of like they were my pillars in a certain maybe way. They're holding you up. Yeah. yeah, and so that's really interesting. And also maybe they're watching over you in some way. Yes, right? I like that, yeah. So your, your stars look like they have lines on them, which gives it movement. Right, So yes. in what direction are those stars moving? They're kind of, you know, shooting up into the sky. Yeah. 
Yeah. And what's a shooting star represent for you? Honestly, this is a kind of a crazy story. <laughs> and I'll keep it so <laughs> my mom, when she, she knew exactly the moment she got pregnant. Yeah. And she said that she felt me as a shooting star into the oh sky. God. And I, she told me that when I was like 18. Wow. And I was like, oh, well, that's cool, mom. Wow. <laughs> and the more that I kind of, you know, meditated on it and thought about it, there's this faint, faint memory of being just this ecstatic, joyous star and just like this high pitch, just like complete expansion wow. and joy and being that shooting star and incarnating. And so, <laughs> yeah, I mean, that was like, and so shooting star, ever since I kind of started to integrate and metabolize that kind of, this memory yeah. that she told me, yeah, yeah it's kind that's, of been that's like, that's really what I want to be. Yeah. You know? And so do you find that the star is an important symbol for you? Does it come yes. up for you in different ways? Or do yeah. you use it in your films? Yeah, like, okay, yeah. So I always have a lot of, in my personal life, a lot of sun. So the sun is a star. Mm -hmm. And you've got a sun in there. Exactly, too, okay. yeah. And so what people do is they usually put the sun off to the side of the camera and have it lighting the subject. Mm -hmm. What I always did in my film was have the sun blasting right into the frame. <laughs> yeah. And so you have these amazing light flares and uh, light streaks going into the camera. And right. so, yeah, so, I love, I think it's beautiful. Yeah. yeah, so incorporating the star, mm -hmm. the sun idea into, again, everything that you do. Right, right? yes, yeah, 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 yeah. The shooting star. Uh -huh. All right, I've got one more question for yes. you, Julian. Give it to me, give it to me. <laughs> so I always think the most interesting step yeah. in this one is draw the stick person dropping something. Right. Because that's so metaphorical, right? Um, so what... Are you dropping? Yes. So here I'm dropping, you can see these purple streaks. I'm dropping bad energy. It's like uh, excess things that I don't need. And rather than a specific object, it's just more of a, it's, it's like, it doesn't matter what you're holding on to in life. Mm -hmm. It could be a person, it could be your car that you liked, it could be your last job, but there's just an energy. There's something that you're holding on to. Yeah. And so you can draw uh, the object itself or you draw the thing that encompasses all the objects that you need to let go or that you could let go of to improve your life. And that was, that was the way of me. It was kind of this like purplish uh, energy outline. And so, yeah, that's me so dropping that. Letting go of letting the bad energy. Exactly. And you have three... Uh, they look like lightning bolts of yes. that energy. Three. Yes, three! Oh my gosh. Three. No way. Yeah, That's so, so cool. Three. Now you're going to start seeing it three everywhere. everywhere. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. So now that you've seen Julian and I talk about, look how proud he is of his <laughs> drawing, <laughs> that we've talked about his drawing. I want you to take a look at your drawing. You're going to have a PDF that you can download that'll have a list of questions on it that you can ask yourself and you can even journal about it. And they will be a lot of the same questions that I asked Julian, mm -hmm. like what was your experience making it? And what came up for you? What are you dropping? What are you holding? And what does that say about who you are right now? Mm -hmm. You know, these are fascinating because if we did this a week, from now, right. it would be totally different. It's just true. Right? Yeah, it's true. <laughs> because you're in a different stage. So right. this is a great one to do over and over again. Awesome. Yeah. Good. Good job. <laughs> Good job. Awesome. Cool. <laughs>